Small and Mighty doing another commentary and notice that Kane Killer or Kane Kill. He was boosting. And so I made it my goal mm, to make sure that he did not boost anymore. And I feel like this gameplay just did the it was the epitome of it. Like I think he notices me following him once we get around this corner. And I just find it hilarious because I let someone kill him before I kill the infected. Like, I thought about doing it right here. Like, he turned around right there, but he didn't turn around, so I was just going to kill him anyway. And I'm like, where'd he go? So this is where I let him kill him. I don't think I could have stopped him, but... And then look in the kill feed. He and his little buddy leave. They were boosting. And I just thought this was perfect karma. They were boosting. The first game, I caught them boosting, so I infected myself. And then I got him eventually. He killed me once, and then I got him. And then his little second player trapped me in the corner for the rest of the game. Then the next match was at Dome, and he got his other friend, so there was four of them total boosting. And I got him at a 15 kill streak. So right here, I'm sending them a message. That's why I'm not playing right now. And I think I, I can't remember what I said. Like, uh, I can't even remember. I'm like, ha 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 ha, have fun boosting the little punk. And so, yeah, it takes a little while. And ooh, I get I get lucky. <laughs> I haven't I haven't witnessed this part because I was sending the guy a message. And I still haven't gotten one back from him, but that would be pretty funny. And I, d this kind of makes me mad because I, I turned off theater recordings. I don't know why I did, but I, this is what really makes me mad. Oh, I get lucky a few times and look, oh, I get lucky again. Anyway, I, Oh my gosh, okay, I think I'm just gonna have to, I'll tell you after this. Crap, I forgot what I was gonna say. I, oh yeah, I turned off theater recording, and I ended up getting a Moab before this. Like, two games before this, I go like 44-1 and one with my Type 95 on mission. And, I don't, I, I thought about turning the theater recordings on again, but... I just didn't because I don't know. I just didn't think I was gonna get a MOA. And look at me just hiding behind this cover so they can't throw their knives at me. This is smart. I don't think I checked the scoreboard once during this game. And I kinda get lucky that those guys aren't like they're like scared to come at me. They're the ones with the knives, I should be scared of them. I have a gun, I'm gonna get you from any way you want. And I notice the people behind me are are getting infected, so I go, I go back here and try to protect a little bit, but I always end up going back to the bridge, because it seems like they left, though. There's only, like, one of them that, and this is really close. I get an assist. I'm starting to worry. I'm starting to worry. Give me that. I saw you under the bridge, so I get you. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'm the last, I'm the last one infected. Call on my mob, and run, and, oh, three over there, and... Dang it. Oh well. I just thought that was a... I wouldn't have done a game plan on this if it wasn't for the get in fact that they were boosting. And I'm going to give this guy props. Knight, I give you props for do, getting, getting that throwing knife. While I was playing Infected, he got me a few times. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I just thought it was a perfect Karma Moab. Anyway, thanks for watching. Small and Mighty out.